So my thoughts and uh, how I feel about uh, the assignment post, the post assignment, you know. Um, well, um, I feel good in terms of feeling like the goals of the participants were met. The goal was to verify information uh, regarding um, uh, application for food stamps, and I think that that was accomplished. There, there's something that I just can't shake off right now. I still feel um, that perhaps of the, all the participants, Angel may have uh, gotten the short end of the stick as far as the communication access. Uh, I, I, it seems like information was provided and the conversation flowed, but there was so nuances and, and things that, that, that the social worker and the uh, sister had access to, full access to, uh, obtain that information and Angel, I, I can't help but feel like maybe there was just some pieces of that puzzle that he didn't get to see or, 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 or have access to because there were some things that I just couldn't do. My, my, my skills did not permit me to be able to meet all of their communication needs. And, uh, and so, so in terms of my thoughts and feelings, there's just that one part where I, I feel like maybe Angel got the short end of the stick on this one. So some of the things that I, that I could have done to, to not feel this way and to feel like a, that everybody got a fair share of, of, of that communication access was to either bring in a CDI, and, and that might have been difficult because it, we were, the appointment was already in progress and, and my, one might have not been available, but that was, would be my primary choice, to have brought in a CDI. And, and that way the CDI ensures that Angel uh, gets all those, those pieces. Um, but if one is not available, then then one of the, some things that I could have done is been more assertive, and and done comprehension checks in, in every step of the way uh, to make sure that Angel was understanding and getting all the pieces of the puzzle. And, and so just being a little bit more assertive, comprehension checks, uh, utilizing visuals or, or any type of of aid, and working with a social worker to ensure that. And I feel like I I stayed. Uh, a little bit uh, too distant from 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 that connection with Angel and and and, and the communi his communication need. I felt like I aligned more with the sister, and it might have been the way the setup was. It, it's it's interesting because power dynamics are uh, impacted by the sitting arrangement, by the sitting di diagram, and if I and I felt like that might have played a little bit of a role in it. I was too closely seated seated by the sister. Angel was further away from me. There was this disconnect, and so here I was aligned with the sister and, and making sure the sister got all of the information. And so just being cognizant of all the factors involved, and, and, but yeah, just been more assertive, made more comprehensive checks, cl worked closely with the social worker to make sure Angel had gotten all of the information. A lot of times um, the, the challenge is, is having to work alone where there isn't enough trilingual interpreters out there that they can team you up with. And, and, and there's this uh, expectation or perception that we can do it all, that we're able to do all three languages without any problem. Uh, but uh, I, I think that in many cases, we're fluent in one, two, but not all three of the languages, and, and we need extra support. We, and, and so, so those, some of the challenges is convincing people that no, we're not superhuman, and no, we cannot do it all on our own. We need extra support. Uh, such as a CDI and, 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 and other team members to be a part of the process. Um, yeah, so those are some of the challenges. Mm -hmm. Yes, actually I did notice, and that's, I think that that was one of the, the, the first clues that, um, that, that, I, that I noticed that, that I was primarily concerned with, with uh, uh, the sister um, uh, uh, information getting in or, or getting the information as opposed to what Angel. I, I think uh, um, something was, there was something about the fact that, that Angel had the social worker working with him. So he was taken care of. So, so he was the primary um, uh, uh, client in this case. And, uh, and he, his needs were being served through the social worker. And, and so I was concerned more with Carmen at that point. So of, 
when when um, he was asked the question about having a bank and what was the name of the bank, uh, Angel was responding, yet I didn't make any effort to, to make sure that, that his answer was, was interpreted. I was, uh, again, too aligned with the sister at that point, and, 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 uh, and so that's when I, it started, I started to feel, oh my goodness, what, what's going on here? Why am, do I feel disconnected from, from the deaf client? Mm -hmm. Um, it, it did. I, so I knew for sure she, there was a bank account, uh, and Corriente, I would say something that is just constantly at flow. And also I thought a checking account does that. It's something that, you know, where money comes in and goes out, comes in, goes out. And so that's what, uh, I, 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 to tell you the truth, I was not familiar with that term. I'm not, I, I, I did not know what exactly cuenta corriente meant. So I kind of used context clues. Uh, I used, uh, you know, just what the meaning of corriente is, and, and so that, the conclusion that I arrived at was a checking account. So um, about missing out some of the information, because there was uh, some, some things that were listed as far as things that they needed to provide or, or options, and there were a couple of times where um, I only provided one of the two options or two of the three options. There was omissions, and uh, and that's a problem in the type of work that we do. Uh, we're encouraged to to do more note taking, uh, lean more towards consecutive interpreting. And I and 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 there were some moments there where I was overwhelmed that I didn't think about uh, doing picking up a, a, a notebook paper and 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 doing it consecutively. For in, for instance. There, there, we arrived at a question where the social worker asked, how do you want to, to do the interview? Do you want to do it by phone or in person? Well, there was something that was happening for me prior to that where my mind was somewhere else. And so then when she went into that one question, um, I was a little lost. And that would have been a perfect opportunity for me to just stand back, get my notebook paper, and take notes. Instead, I chose to go ahead and interpret the, the question simultaneously instead of taking advantage of the, the consecutive op uh, uh, option, which is one way to ensure that there aren't uh, inaccuracies and omissions in our interpretation. Um, I wasn't sure whether that's where, what Alicia, Alicia was alluding to, quite honestly. I was like, is she alluding to the fact that he's here illegally or is he here legally? And, um, and so I, I went ahead and just kind of leaned towards the, the, the polite thing and say, does he have residence here? Uh, it's, I'm, I'm going to admit it's an awkward thing to talk about. And uh, the, the, okay, so also knowing um, the way that deaf culture and deaf language uh, works. In deaf culture and, 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 and uh, <laughs> deaf language, ASL, um, usually what is presented first is the negatives and then the positives. There's this contrast, and this is uh, unique to ASL. It is not to spoken languages. Uh, in spoken languages, there's a tendency to lean towards the positive commentaries and not so much the negative. And so taking into account that Alicia may did ask, is he here legally? That's, that's typical. A, a deaf person is going to do that. But so I, I mediated culturally and linguistically the question and said, does he have residence? Um, I, I shed a positive light, which is a tendency that is done in spoken languages and, 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 and hearing culture. Additional thoughts. Um, there were some things that, uh, that I said in English, like Travis County Services for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing. And um, I, I, I did that because th I, I let the sister lead me. She threw out some English uh, terminology like Medicaid and, and, and food stamps. Uh, and so I, I, I felt that, you know, she's familiar with the, the, the location and the services. So there was just some things that, that I thought was were okay to just say it in English uh, instead of try to mediate it into Spanish. Uh, um, 
one of the things that I noticed was that sometimes I went into third person interpreting. Again, it had to do with me aligning myself too much with the sister, feeling distant from the brother, that instead of voicing in first person, uh, I, the, the, I said, dice, dice. And, and, uh, and so there was also something that I noticed in that, that it was especially done when he went off topic. When a question was asked, he'd answer, and then he'd add some other stuff that had nothing to do with the question. And, there, that, and, and so I would say this, and, I, and, I, and what I, I, I'm not quite sure exactly why I did that, but I think that there was a moment there where I, my image was threatened. And so I disassociated myself from, from, from that, him veering off topic. And, and I, I think that that's the source, the root of why I went into third person to disassociate myself from that, he's off topic, you know. It, it, it's very possible that, 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 that that's because of the intimacy, the level of intimacy, the relationship between her and the brother that I felt comfortable saying dice uh, because of that. Um, it does happen if I know that the person, um, the, the having a mouth in, in Spanish when I'm doing ASL, it does happen particularly with people who uh, are, are second uh, ASL language learners and, and, and whose primary language might have been their own um, uh, sign language of their country which and in a, in a Spanish-speaking country and that they know Spanish. So, so just to, as a, as an, as a reinforcement to ensure, especially someone like Angel who's visual gestural, I, I want to, 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 again, it's about maximizing all of our communication skills. And it, it's not about what Angel lacks. He has a communication system that works for him. And no one of us has the right to say that he's minimal language skilled, that he lacks something because it works for him and is, and, and, and it's about whether we have what it takes to meet that communication need.